Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst winter storm of the century. My first stop was Vinny Gagnetti, a lowlife in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. Max, what's going on? Probably. Max, anyone there? I know what happened. I 
I would fuck her. Max Payne! Drop your weapon! There's a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Bullshit. <laughs> escape from. Drive you mad. It 
could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units? Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledged. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. My brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. chase lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work the work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit. What do we get? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. to you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot still! You can't hide! masquerading as cleaners. on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! 
Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop him! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! Come on. Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. slipping away, making a run for it. together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You could do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. 
Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, pain. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Very good show. Very fun. Baseball Bat Boy, episode 165, Captain Baseball Bat Boy's Girlfriend. Yeah, she's not my girlfriend. 
Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak. <laughs> to save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions, the freaking zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Foul ball! <laughs> Grand slam! <laughs> hi <-ya! laughs> Captain Baseball Bat Boy has hit a home run! But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Go! Jesus Christ, apocalypse now! Oh, got some heavy shit here! Tone it down. Just take everything. Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Teeth. The whole set for a tooth. You sick... We'll get there. Up the stairs. Ah! Up here, in the attic. More of them. Thank you. 
They're coming to take you away. Can you hear them? Shut up! Shut up! Come on, Pini. You're not really cut out for this. Yeah. Wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. <sighs> Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, 
a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. Now, Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot them too. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pay me done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People could knew you, they'd die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Put it down. Oh, your weapon. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona. 
She had woken me up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her, find out what was going on. One's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Okay. Let's see that shotgun. I'm in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums, this used to be a nice neighborhood. Lock the door, don't open it for anyone but the police. Barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. They jammed the elevator. finding you here? Were you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady... is taken Kaufman wants is taken care of
man coming to see an old lady like me? Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I heard them talking in the corridor. Speaking tongues. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. It's not... There he is!
wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments.
Adventure Marathon. says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. Touch Brandy to make you feel rich and famous. explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. It's so funny. I busted my hump. 
Mr. Upton left me. Ah, oh, sure. Started hitting the bottle. <laughs> God, Anyone God, would have. Open up. There are people trapped in here. My boss busted me for... Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'll take care of this. You stay I'm put. I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm on, man. Thought you'd never ask. You better stay behind. You gotta get me out of this. Your place. On second thought, you better stay back. Hey, All I was right. talking to Handsome here. Why the hell would I risk my Let's life go. for this? Stay close to anyway, me. Huh? You don't have to tell me. I feel a lot better now that you're you here. The feeling's mutual, baby. What's your... more of them? Uh, freeze! Bastards! gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. on my own. Hey, I'll take care sure. of this. You stay put. Whatever you okay, say. I'll wait here. <laughs> hey. kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? 
With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter.
brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama! Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead. You. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse. I'll tell you one thing, Mona. You're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. So you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Across the room, slow. Taking her time like she was a supermodel on a catwalk until she's standing real close to me. <laughs> the door's locked. Try the door in the far right. Next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is... They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body. A thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat.
Seriously, strip it down. Papers both. Shoot! Max, 
go back upstairs through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. Go back upstairs, through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. You can't hide! You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below. Go back upstairs, through Corcoran's apartment. From there, go to the lobby and to the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there. We're much better off than they were. They were on a stakeout when it happened. Stakeout wears you down. Numbs you. Then when you have to be ready all of a sudden, you're not. We on the other side. record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop it! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the Flamingo on them. I ran. Home run every single time. 
Good girl. Yawn. Wake me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. A boy. risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator. I don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sport. Die. cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona!
me in the first place. For help. For something she wasn't telling me. NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson could have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. And me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Pervora. At Mona. Was she worth this?